Hello everyone, this is Amiti Sensei. Today I will talk about 5 Infinity Canvas apps, writing apps with no edges to the paper, so you can just keep on writing. I'm a really big fan of these. Whenever I have idea, I use them to just write out what I'm thinking. They are also great for when I'm designing or have a project to brainstorm. And I've introduced a few of these in past videos, but this time I want to put it all together and talk about the best 5. They're all Infinity Canvas apps, but they each have different features, so I'm going to talk about them today. I'll start with my favorite one first and then go from there. So stay tuned and watch this video until the end. We'll be starting with an app called Concepts. This is my favorite IC app, and a lot of my viewers say they love it too. I use it when brainstorming to just get all of my thoughts down, and it's really great for that. What's unique about it is this copy color panel. It's got so many colors and it's really well organized. You can do your illustrations with this. This is one of the drawings I've used it for in the past. It's great for doing small scale stuff rather than the really professional stuff that Procreate is for. Also, these lines are all vector lines. If you're working with art data, you know what that means. All the drawings are done in a vector. So you can even work with Adobe Illustrator files here too. It even does pass as well. Using the ruler or measurement tool that comes included, you can make really professional looking designs and sketches like this one. I've shown you how to do this Apple Watch in a previous video. I'll put the link to it in the description, so please check it out. We found an image of an Apple Watch, put it on screen and then trace it using the ruler feature. It makes it really easy to draw clean designs, and it's a great lesson for those who want to become familiar with concepts. So please give a try if you can. So you could draw pictures, input text, paste in images, and work with paths. With concepts, you can do so many things. This is my favorite of these apps, so if you don't have it yet, please go ahead and download. Next up is our second app, OneNote. This one is produced by Microsoft. Unlike Concepts, which has a lot of features for drawing and editing pictures, OneNote is really good for note-taking. Especially if you're a student who wants to take notes on your tablet, you should really try OneNote. You scroll either down or right from your starting point in the left-hand corner. With Concepts starting in the center, you can go in any direction, but OneNote scrolls down. I did a video about taking Japanese history notes with one note before. After all, history notes tend to just go on and on down the page, right? And if you're using actual pen and paper, you kind of have to stop when you hit the bottom. And then you could lose your focus and it's hard to remember what you were studying. But with one note, there's no end to the page, so you can just keep scrolling downward and make this long timeline. I think this makes things really easy to remember, and that's why I made a video on it. Also, for people who use Microsoft, OneNote is the way to go. It's super easy to work with other apps like Word, Excel, OneDrive, and Outlook. For example, you can paste stuff from Word, Excel, and even Outlook calendars in OneNote, and then send it in an email with one click. This probably doesn't work if you're not using Windows, though. If you're stuck with Windows because of your job or something like that, it can be a good idea to use OneNote to boost your productivity. So I definitely recommend OneNote to Windows users, students, and anyone who wants to write a whole bunch of notes. Third up is VizRiff, an app I've talked about before. This app is great for pasting in lots of pictures, so I recommend it for people who work with images a lot, like photographers and designers. It can also be great for directors. As for how to use it, you can just open it and have your photo app in a separate window. Then once you drag and drop your pictures into VizRef, it will line them all up for you really nicely like this. You can craft images and do a few other edits, like applying a monochrome filter and flipping the image. 
This sort of thing is difficult to do in OneNote in Concepts, but with VisRef, you can easily paste images in and make a visual reference board. Now, a downside is that you can't input text. I really recommend it for those who just want to line up some images, but I understand that's a small group of people. Fourth is an app called Explain Everything. I actually haven't talked about this in a video yet, so I've been really excited to introduce it. I really recommend this app for anyone working from home. The Infinite Canvas feature here isn't all that different from the first app concepts. You can keep on writing and pasting pictures in any direction. But what's unique here is that you can share your canvas in real time with other people and work on it together. Using Explain Everything, you get an invite link for your canvas and give it to other people. Then when they open the app, they're sent to your canvas. For example, if one person writes some letters, they will pop up on the other person's canvas. And if you move a picture, that will show up on their canvas too. Another cool thing is that you can share audio while working as well, so you don't have to open programs like Zoom or Google Meet. This app explain everything can manage everything. This app has so many amazing features that it's impossible to talk about all of them here. But another thing you can do is paste in websites. When you do that, you can look at the website inside your canvas. So you can share the website and show them what you're clicking, what to look at, and so on. If you have a member in your online meeting would explain everything, it really speeds things along. This app does have a monthly subscription fee of $20, which is not cheap, but if you want to work more efficiently while working from home, I recommend this app for sure. If you have any questions for this app, please leave a comment down below. I found it a bit difficult to explain everything about this app, and it will probably take a lot of time too, but if a lot of people want to see it, I think I'll make another video on it. So please let me know from the comment section down below. And now for the last app, this is Endless Paper and it's free. I haven't talked about this on YouTube yet. This app has a lot of features that set it apart from the others. The apps were generally ones that you zoom out as you write more and more, but in this app you zoom in to write more. For example, you write something and you zoom further in and write even more inside of that. This is really different and super cool. Now you might be wondering about how to use it. It's not obvious, especially because I haven't talked about it before. But don't worry about it. It's free, so just download it and play around a little bit. I think kids will really like this app too. The downside is that the brush accuracy is pretty low, and it doesn't feel great to write with. But if you're really interested in the idea of zooming in to write more text, you should definitely give it a try. And that's all about all the apps today. How was it everyone? To sum up, we talk about concepts, OneNote, VizRef, Explain Everything, and Endless Paper. This Infinite Canvas feature is something great that you can only find on iPad, so please find the app that works best for you and have fun. Of course, my favorite is still the first one, Concepts. But each one's got its unique points, so take a look back at the video and pick the one you like the best. There were also a few apps here that I've talked about in videos before. I'll put all the links in the description down below, so if you want to know more, please check them out. That's all for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I make videos on tips and hacks of iPad, so please do that too. Thank you for watching my video today once again, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!